Welcome to Draves Archery, DravesArchery.com. Um, I got the Barnett Jackal here. Uh, it's a new, brand new bow for Barnett this year. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and shoot this bow and uh, scope it in. I don't know if you can see it from there or not, but there's a little black dot down there. Just a hair bigger than a poker chip. Uh, just a 20 yard deal. So we're going to go ahead and watch me here. We're going to go ahead and pop this guy. Uh, like most crossbows, when you get into uh, these cocking ropes, you want to make your cocking rope pretty short uh, so you do have tension on it both sides. If not, what happens if your rope's really long, you end up way, you end up way up, up top here trying to, trying to lift something way up top so it doesn't work. So we're going to go ahead and cock this guy. It's only 150 pounds. Like I said, 316 feet a second. Uh, 2010 Barnett Jackal was. Uh, it's got an anti dry fire mechanism in it. Let's go ahead and shoot this guy. Okay, odd man goes straight down and all the way back to the very back. And we're going to flip this off the safety. I'm going to turn on my real red down here. Get my brightness dimmed down here so it's about where I want it. I'm going to shoot down there towards the other. Way low. Okay. We are right out of the box. We're way low. Most of these so far that I've done has been really on the low, low side of things. Uh, so that's kind of why whenever you go to assemble one of these, it is very important to get that very top screw on this rail all the way down tight. If you don't get it all the way tight, it, it seems like it's up too high and it just it just doesn't allow the bow to do what you want it to do. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dial this guy down and see what happens here. Go ahead and grab my rope and device. Uh, once again, you're going to take the hooks. The handles always go to the outside. There's a groove right back here in the back. Go ahead and hook on one side and lift it up just a little bit so you can hook on the other side and cock. You could probably cock this guy by hand, but you never recommend to cock a crossbow by hand for a couple of reasons. Uh, the biggest reason to it is, is that whenever you do cock this thing by hand, you may end up shifting the string a little bit. And uh, well, that means one side of your string is actually going to have more shift to it than the other. So if you go to shoot it, it's going to actually pull through the air a little sideways. So it's never good. Let's see how close we are now. Well, now we're only about a foot low and just barely there to the left. So we're going to bring her on down just a little bit more. The boat did kind of. It feels like you're right at the very bottom that I've done so far. It's almost as if the scope is about out of adjustment on the up and down. So if you go home and you shoot it, you put it together and you get everything good and tight, and you shoot it and you notice you're real low. Even before you start, so far what I've experienced with these, you may want to just take this guy and crank him to the down position almost all the way to the bottom just before you even get good and started on it. Shot number four here. Well, I'm dead high and I am about a half inch straight to the right. So we're going to go. Okay, I'll be right back and we're going to shoot one group. Barnett Jackal. Like I said, brand new for 2010. Price point bow, under 300 bucks. Straight out of the box here, guys. We're going to shoot a full group and see how well this group does. Well, first one there is right in the middle of that little black spot. We're going to see. Uh, See what happens here. There's a good chance I'm going to screw an arrow up. But we're going to 
do it. Anyways, just to, just to see how well this thing really does. I like that one there. If it's not in the dot, it's, it's got to be touching it. Now, there is no magnification in this scope. It's the standard three dot scope. But, there goes an arrow. Last arrow here. Four L group, little black dot, 20 yards. I think it was a knock. But uh, let's walk down here and see these three. That knock the steel off just a little bit. Is my fourth arrow. Like I said, my knock here is off just a little bit, but I got three arrows and a little black spot at 20 yards. And my knocking here is off a little bit on this one. But that's the Barnett Jackal, guys, 2010, and you can purchase this at DravesArchery.com. Thank you.